My current research focuses on size abundance distributions and we're focusing on a perennial herbaceous community in a wetland down at the Brown Family Environmental Center. So this past summer I harvested some individuals and we're looking at the decline of mass with abundance in those areas. Um, I guess what we didn't know going in was the quantity of samples I would get from that wetland plot. So then every species I cut and I, you know, stuffed it into one of these envelopes and I wrote down where, what plot it was in and what species I thought it was and then brought them all back to the lab and meticulously weighed each one of them. <laughs> Undergraduate research is something that's becoming more and more common, especially at liberal arts colleges like ours where you have uh, close interactions between the faculty and the students. Um, they're also the way that we keep our own scholarship going, so I don't just teach in the classroom, I'm also a researcher. We don't have laboratories full of postdoctoral researchers and graduate students, and so we really uh, work with the undergraduates to become our own, become our scientific colleagues. The attention that we're able to get, give them and the relationships that we're able to build uh, really help them to, uh, to come along and make progress such that when I'm at a scientific meeting, frequently when my students are presenting posters, uh, other scientists are milling around at these meetings going from poster to poster to learn about research and they often come up to me afterwards or they'll ask the student, so are you finishing your master's this semester? Or are you, uh, you know, how far are you in your PhD? And the kind of research that they do is really at that level very frequently. Before I came to Kenyon, I didn't really think liberal arts is a science institution. I looked at Ohio State and bigger universities for that. And then I came and I saw this one-on-one -on -one collaboration with professors. And I really liked that. I liked that I would get to possibly do a summer science project or that I could work in somebody's lab. And I liked that that was a real possibility. A lot of undergraduates here get published, which I was unheard of at bigger universities. And besides the science department in a liberal arts college, you take other classes and other subject areas. So I've taken English courses and anthropology courses. And there's a lot of overlap between that and my science courses. I took a biological anthropology class, so I got to see that whole spectrum. And um, I also, in my English classes, you learn how to write really well, and it's so important in the scientific community to be a good writer. Um, that's how you get published, that's how you communicate your research. If you do research and you can't write, there's really no point to doing the research, so communicating your research is really important. So taking all of those different courses with my science courses has really helped me.